Hello and welcome to Finextra. I'm Emily Haller and I'm here with FB of EPAM. And we're at the Strategy for Success in Payments and Transaction Services event. Thank you very much for joining me. Thank you very much for having me. With uncertainty over the timing of the technical specification of PSD2, how do banks manage this space? I think the, ba the banks have to be like a, a sprinter or racer. They have to wait for the, uh, the festival to go on and they have to start running. They will have a very limited time of really getting things delivered. So right now, at this point of time, they have to watch the space. They have to get ready to, and see how the technical specification develops. And once they get ready, they have to start really going forward and start implementing it. They are going to have really limited time. So right now, they have to line up their technical teams. They have to really be, be prepared to pull things off uh, with a very short amount of time because they will have probably 18 to 24 months to get the APIs, to get the integration going. And after that, they will be, have to be forced to be compliant with the regulation. With the regulation allowing third parties to enter the payment services, for example through the use of APIs, how is the ecosystem affected? The ecosystem will be affected in a way that each player can play a different part. It's going to the componentization of the ecosystem is going to go forward and it's going to greatly affect how far you can actually reach in the financial services supply chain. You could be very much marginalized in this space. You could be just an account, managing an account or managing the account holding perspective and do nothing else. And there could be players out here who are going to be just doing the payments itself and there's going to be people who are going to take the information about your accounts, about your transactions and actually providing additional services, new services, new type of models out of it, new type of capabilities based upon your transaction history. So what you're going to have is going to be dissemination of the financial services supply chain. The new framework will open opportunities for new business models. How do you see these benefiting the consumers? The consumer is going to have more choice. They're going to, get, they're going to have a simplification of the way they do payments and I hope the payment is actually going to be a seamless, frictionless uh, experience where you're no longer going to be able to choose, not going to choose, but you're going to be able to choose probably between different payment methods, payment instruments, but it's going to be a very frictionless experience which will allow you to really seamlessly breeze through uh, on, on your purchasing and you, you will, it, it will be, make you buy more because essentially that's what we all want. FB, thank you very much. Thank you. Thank you for watching.